Hey YTPC, it's been a minute, but I wanted to get on to a quick video before Christmas. First off, Merry Christmas to everybody out there. Uh, I got tipped off by someone, uh, a viewer here in Sweden, that there was a shop that I hadn't, that I didn't know about. And I looked it up and was able to pick up some grouse more. Now this is supposed to be a Lake Lanescence blend. And the viewer was strolling bowl. So thank you for the tip. I want to crack it open. And I'm going to try it out in this Meerschaum for the first time. So I did look into it a little bit. And it seems like it's a very love it or hate it type of thing. So what we're going to see. Okay, it was a good seal on it. Well, I got it packed good. So I think that's the thickest cover. All right, this is a. Uh, very bright Virginia look to it. And very moist. And make sure you can see that. Okay, tin note. Definitely citrusy. Don't really smell much of the... I don't get a floral smell. Let me uh, break it up a little bit and see if I can get a little more of the aroma to come out. Okay, there I get a little bit of the... A little bit of floral notes there. Mm, it smells really fresh. I haven't been a big fan of uh, Virginia's lately, but we will see. All right, I'm going to get some of this set out and packed up. I'll be back. Oh, I'm recording this at the end, but I'm going to stick it in somewhere else. The tobacco is very, very, very moist upon opening. I let it sit out for 15. It maybe could have taken a little bit longer. I didn't have any problem with relights, but it did get a little bit of a little moist in the bottom of the bowl. So that toward the end, but I was, I was chooching on it. So just beware that this does come moist and then, you know, you be the judge of how long I think next time I'll let it sit out maybe 20 minutes for me. So just want to throw that out there. Okay. We got the bowl packed. Let's Get a char light done on it. Okay, so on the char light, it tastes like a very citrusy Virginia. Uh, it's got a nice light flavor to it. And I normally find Virginia's kind of dull, but this one has something a little different. I'm guessing it might be the floral, but I don't get a strong floral essence just yet. So I'm going to let this rest, come back. And do the true light. We'll see what we get. Okay, so I've got the true light going. It's 
there's a lot of citrus. Um, I'm guessing it's the lemongrass. I don't know if I could identify what a lemongrass flavor is, but it's not. It's a different kind of citrus for me, so I'm guessing maybe that's the lemongrass. And just a little bit of floral coming through. Not not much. I know I, I heard one review, somebody say it, it was like a bottle of grandma's perfume. Nothing like that. This is a very, very nice, fresh kind of blend so far. So I'm going to continue down to about halfway, come back and let you know what I find on it. But already it's changing a little bit from the, from the uh, char light to the true light. It's starting to change a little bit. So see you in a bit. Okay, about halfway down, uh, the citrus has mellowed and the floral has come up and it's about, I'd say 50, 50 right now. I don't find anything displeasing. I actually really like it. And compared to the other, like the straight Virginias and the other vapors, I, I prefer this one, you know, now it's only halfway, but like the full Virginia flakes and the Patriot flake, I mean, they weren't bad tobaccos, but the way my palate has changed, they were kind of, I don't know, they were kind of just kind of middle of the road, just average. This, this has something that's uh, interesting to me. It has more, uh, more flavor and maybe it's the floral, maybe it's the lemongrass. I don't know because this is pretty much a uh, golden Virginia based tobacco. And I really, really like this. So I will smoke it down to the bottom third or as close to the bottom as I can get it and come back. But so far, I really, really like this blend. And if I'm going to keep a Virginia in stock, you know, right now, halfway through, this would be it. So see you back at the bottom. Okay, um, I'm just about to the bottom. And didn't really change much throughout the smoke. Um, the char light, like I said, it was very Virginia citrusy. Um, and it had a little bit of a different um, flavor, which I'm guessing is the lemongrass. And the florals came out after the, the true light got going. Uh, the first half is when I really started to taste a little bit. But the... The florals were, they were 50-50 with the citrus. So nothing, nothing overwhelming, uh, a very pleasant, um, lighter smoke. Definitely, I think you could do it all day. As always, I can't speak to a nicotine hit. I'm, I'm not affected by nicotine. But I think by far, my favorite Virginia tobacco that I've ever tasted now I'm going to let it sit in the jar for a while and then come back to it and see if anything changes. But I've recently packed up all my vapors and Virginias other than Elizabethan and I'm, I ship those off. So to somebody else that'll appreciate them. I just, I find that I wasn't ever reaching for a Virginia and this one kind of changed. seems like it's changed it, which is why I still try stuff. You know, you never know. I've been looking for this for a while and was never ever in stock here. And then, like I said, I had a, a comment from a, a viewer uh, strolling, strolling a bowl. And he said, hey, have you heard about this shop on the other side of Sweden? And I said, no. So I looked it up and 
they had it in stock. So I went ahead and pulled the trigger. So again, strolling a bowl. Thank you for the tip. I really, really, really like this tobacco. So now if you want to try a Lakeland Essence that's not a overwhelming, I would say try this one. Now, it's a very good blend. Now, maybe some folks might be overwhelmed by the floral, but I, to me, it's it's something on top of the the Virginia and the citrus that just it makes it a really, really, really tasty blend for me, and it's um, kind of returned my faith a little bit into Virginia tobaccos. Yeah, so this one definitely is a two thumbs up for me. Now, I've only smoked it in this, so I will run it through the, the briars and the cobs and see. But for me, nothing really doesn't really change. Pipes don't really change the uh, flavor of tobacco for me. And I haven't ever noticed ghosting. So, all right, I'll wrap it up. If you want to try a Lakeland, I'd say try this one. To me, it's not a... It's not your grandmother's perfume, like some people say. But then again, maybe you might be more sensitive to it. No. All right. That's it. Thanks for watching. Again, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And I will try to get caught up on videos. Catch you on the next one.